What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, we got a delivery today finally from China or Alibaba. Boom! So today's video is just gonna be an unboxing video of the new batteries that I got from Alibaba. So if you don't wanna see any of that, then I will see you on the next one. If you're interested in seeing some brand new cells that I don't, I don't think anybody has these and I kind of, I kind of just took a leap of faith and ordered them. The reason I like to do unboxing videos is if for some reason any of you guys order these exact same cells, you kind of know what you're getting or you know what to expect. All of the pricing and all that kind of stuff before we get started because everybody always wants to know that. So here it goes. Got it all written down on my Hello Kitty notepad again. I talked to a Wendy, Wendy fan over at Alibaba. Am I Am I standing really close? I am, sorry. I talked to a Wendy fan over at Alibaba, asked 6,000 questions, and I was satisfied with all of the answers that she gave me. I ordered 16 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate or LFP cells from Shenzhen Yaidong uh, Technology Company. They are R-E-P-T or R-U-I-P-U, I don't know how to say that. Ripped? Or maybe I got ripped. Um, Rupu Cells, all right? And they were $81.50 each for a total of $1,304. Shipping cost $339. There's some fees and taxes on the very, very end, and that was $49.13 for a grand total of $1,692.13. I ordered these on about April 12th of 2021 this year, and they shipped out probably the 18th or 19th and then they were delivered on June 26 just a little over two months these ones did take a little bit longer than the license that I have but that's okay um, if you got time you know you should order cells from Alibaba if you don't have time don't order them it takes forever the reason I went with these particular cells here is because they were the cheapest ones I could find that's pretty much it there was no more of the 272 lichen cells and the EVEs were all out of stock I took a leap of faith and order them yep come on up come on come on pretty much what we're gonna do in this video is unbox the cells uh, and take a look at them to make sure they're not damaged or anything like that. If we have time, which we probably won't because my videos go forever, we will check the voltage, internal resistance, and we're not gonna be using the X-Tar Dragon like I've done in the past. We are gonna be using a new meter that I got from a fellow YouTuber, Scott. His channel is the Gadget Review Videos, so if you guys need any of your gadgets reviewed, you should definitely check him out. I'll link his channel down below, thank you very much. He sent out, I don't know, a little internal resistance slash voltage checker. The model number is YR1030. Uh, so we will be using this for the voltage and internal resistance check. Hey, hey dude, he was just trying to chew on these. Let's get to it. Okay, I was just kidding. All right, these ones do have the foam padding. Uh, there you go, foam padding all the way around. I would say it's pretty close to the lichen cells, but not as thick. First glance at these, they appear to be pretty good. They look, they look nice, actually. And actually, these look fantastic. All right, just like before, I'm gonna put it on a time lapse real quick to get all these out of the boxes and then we'll take a closer look. All right, so in box one, they did include this other package, which I'm guessing is the bus bars and nuts. All right, so I got a whole bunch of bus bars. I got 16 bus bars and then a bag of washers and nuts. I don't think they're stainless or anything, but come on, meow, focus. And there's the nuts and washers, which I will probably end up changing these out for the flange style nuts, but we'll see. But at least it came with something, a whole bag of it. I don't know how many's in here, there's quite a bit. 
And if anybody was wondering how thick these are, they are two millimeters thick. All right, first initial impressions look to be pretty good, actually. Uh, they do have their QR codes and all that kind of stuff. Everything looks to be pretty good, but I'm gonna do a quick closer inspection and I will report back in one second. Okay, Lauren's gonna inspect one of these batteries. Tell the people what you're looking for. I'm looking for dings and discoloration. I'm also looking for fizzy stuff. I'll be sensing for um, temperature. Okay, you ready? All right, here's your four batteries. Tell me what you find wrong. That one's fine. That one's fine, okay. How heavy is it? Um, it's kind of heavy as far as I'm concerned. It's like a pack of books. You know, if you're gonna carry them home from school. It's like that heavy. Okay. And that one has something. Uh, it is a dent. You found a dent. How does it look to you? Not bad. Not bad? Would you uh, write home about it? No, I might note it. Yeah? Um, just for future reference, just in case, but I wouldn't like. Would you worry about that dent? I, I don't think so. It didn't even break the skin or what what are you going to call that? I'm going to call it heat shrink or something. It didn't even break the heat shrink, so... Okay. I wouldn't say so, but, you know, I'm picky. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. What well, you got? Two left? Apparently two. I didn't know. I thought I was only doing one, but well, I think it's a good thing that I did two. You're doing a great job, so you might as well Thanks. finish. What about the top on there? Do you see anything different on the top? No. Okay. Do you? Maybe. What? It's it's very subtle. Yeah. Look at the black post. Do you see it now? Yeah. What about it? Is it pushed? Look at this one. Pushed it Compared to that one. Okay, so that one's a little crooked. Just a little crooked. We'll show that in a minute. Would you write home about it? No, I wouldn't. Would you note it? I would put a note in there for that. Okay. Got one left? Yeah. Last one. That one is a little bent too, I think. Could be. Would we'll we'll check it out in a minute. It's possible. If you get a level out and check it, you'll see that it's not going to be even. But okay. by a layman's perspective, you might not even notice it. Okay. Okay. That's it. That one looks pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Onto the damage report. So in box number one, this is cell, this is my cell number four, box number one. Everything looks to be really good. All of the cells look really good. However, I do have a dent right here. Kind of looks like something was stacked on top or whatever because the foam is still stuck in there. So I'll take some pictures of that and pass it on to the seller. But other than that, I mean, it's really not too bad. I know the camera might make it look to be really bad, but I don't think it's too bad. And then the one that Lauren found, kind of hard to tell from all the different angles and the light. Not too bad. You can kind of see that it does look a little crooked. You know, maybe something was set down on top of the box that shouldn't have been. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see it. It's just barely tilted to one side. There you go. You know what? I mean, I'm actually really surprised about how perfect these are minus those other couple of blemishes that I found. Um, these actually kind of look better than the lichen cells in my opinion. Again, you know, they have all the QR codes, all the terminals are all welded on. No more worrying about stripping out the studs or anything like that. So that is great. I don't know. I'm pretty excited. All right. I am going to number these just like I numbered the lichen cells and I'm just using this little Bic whiteout stick I stole from the wife. All right, so next we're gonna be doing the voltage check and internal resistance check. Thanks again, Scott. Let's give it a try. 
if I know how to use it, which we are turned on. And he said I had to hold this hold zero button to go into ZR mode. And the cells on here, the black is positive and the white is negative. And one quick note, the internal resistance right now is probably not gonna be 100% correct because the batteries are not full charged. Typically you would check the internal resistance when the battery's full charged. All right, here we go. Cell number one, 3.29 volts, 0.26, milliohms. Number two, 3.29 volts, 0.28 milliohms. Cell number three, 3.28 volts, 0.26 milliohms. Cell number four, 3.27 volts, 0.22 milliohms. Cell number five, 3.28 volts, 0.24 milliohms. Cell number six, 3.28 volts, 0.25 milliohms. Cell number seven, 3.28 volts, 0.24 milliohms. Cell number eight, 3.28 volts, 0.24 milliohms. Cell number nine, 3.28 volts, 0.24 0.26 milliohms. Cell number 10, 3.28 volts, 0.28 milliohms. Cell number 11, 3.28 volts, 0.25 milliohms. Cell number 12, 3.28 volts, 0.24 milliohms. Cell number 13, 3.28 volts, 0.26 milliohms. Cell number 14, 3.28 volts, 0.26 milliohms. Cell number 15, 3.29 volts, 0.26 milliohms. Cell number 16, 3.28 volts, 0.28 milliohms. Perfect. Alrighty, now we're going to weigh them. Oh, I should have the specs out, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. All right, so the specs of these bad boys are 3.2 volts, 280 amp hours. Operating voltage is 2.5 volts to 3.65 volts. Normal discharging current is 140 amps. However, the maximum continuous discharge is 1C, which is 280 amps. Maximum discharging current is 560 amps. All right, so these bad boys are supposed to weigh 5.27 plus or minus 0.16 kilograms. So we're gonna weigh them real quick and see what we got. Uh-oh, got a friend. Hey, bud. Hi. All right, here we go. Cell number one, 5.345 kilograms. Let's weigh you. 12 pounds, 10 ounces, dude. So he weighs 12 pounds and 10 ounces. You're a big boy. Yep, thank you. Cell number two, 5.370 kilograms. Cell number three, 5.365 kilograms. Cell number four, 5.350 kilograms. Cell number five, 5.340 kilograms. Cell number six, 5.355 kilograms. Number seven, 5.380 kilograms. Cell number eight, 5.350 kilograms. Number nine, 5.345. Number 10, 5.345. Number 11, 5.340. Number 12, 5.380. Number 13, 5.360. Number 14, 5.360. Number 15, 5.350. Cell number 16, 5. 350 kilograms. Alrighty, there you go. That is the 16 280 amp hour, I'm not even sure how you pronounce it, lithium iron phosphate cells. All the voltages look great. Internal resistance at this voltage looks great. Even the weight was good. Nothing under what they had listed on their website. So, so far I'm pretty happy. Um, I do have to contact them about the little tiny ding on my cell number one and it was like cell number 14, wherever it's at. It's around here somewhere. Okay, so my question is for you guys, do you think I should individually capacity test every single one of these like I did with the Lycian 272 amp hour cells? Do a couple of spot checks or should I just string them up into series and then do one capacity test that way. One week later. Oh, well you should come over here since you got the camera on. First discharge test. I don't know if you can focus on that. Oh, I'm... Um... Yeah. 295 amp hours from the new cells from China. Is and look, that... that's the one with the dent. Is that good? That's amazing. They're supposed to be 280. Oh. So they're... Extra? Extra. Yeah. That's fun. That's amazing. Great job. 
Great job. All right, that's pretty much all I got. I'd love to hear all of your questions, comments, suggestions, all of that stuff down in the comment section, and I'll see you on the next one. Let it zero itself out, and then we're gonna weigh you, okay? Yep. Yes. Hey, you're gonna mess the weight up. Hey, quit, dude. Quit that. 5.380 kilograms. He already started chewing on my new meter wires. Meter reader. Cell number Horus. 5.705. He got off there too quick. Um, uh, Shenzhen Yaidong Technology Company. They did put my name on there. And... Um, so what's your final report? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I, Buy that for a dollar? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it for a dollar. I would take it also for free. I would go ahead and try them out. I would use them. Would you pay $1,692.13 shipped to your door? No. Why? Because I already know that my house holds many other batteries, and so I don't know why I would do that, but it's not my project. So maybe if it was my project, sure. Okay. Ask me if I would buy more dishes. Would you buy more dishes? Yes. Oh, see, I wouldn't. See? Yeah. There you go. It's perspective. It's relative, right? That's right. Okay. Okay. Do you need any other help? Um, not yet. <laughs>